Weight management is on a lot of people's minds these days. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're learning that there's more to health than the numbers on the scale. Can you talk about the difference between losing weight and losing fat? Losing weight is, it doesn't matter where it's coming from. You go on the scale and you're, uh, whoever it is, 150 pounds and the next uh, month they're 145 pounds. They've lost five pounds of weight or of body weight. This may make some people very happy, but in other cases it may not be the best way to look at it. It doesn't make a subdivision between if it's fat fat weight or if it's lean weight. When we talk about body fat percentage, what does that mean exactly? Body fat percentage is uh, pretty much just that. It's the percentage of your body's weight that is fat. Is there a magic number that is the right number? The range for men will say in the young adult category, so let's say, you know, teenager, 20s to let's say mid 30s, the range there would be something like 14 to 17. Women would be something like maybe 23, 22 to 26%. So can we see this in action? Yes, definitely. This is Veronica and I'm gonna do the uh, calculations once I've gotten the skin folds from her. So let's start off here with a tricep skin fold. Veronica, just turn slightly to this side over here and just be totally relaxed with your arm. I'm gonna find anatomical landmark up at the shoulder, elbow, find the midpoint. Try to separate the skin away from the muscle tissue. Set the caliper on, release, wait for the needle to stop, and then write that number down. I'll do two to three measures at the same spot to ensure consistency. I'm gonna actually jot down the distance so that I can repeat the exact same distance next time. Next one, turn slightly this way. Just at the edge of the shoulder blade, and then getting the reading. Mark that down. So when he was going to be front of the arm, bicep measurement. Again, using a landmark of the top of the shoulder, the elbow, and getting the midpoints. 5.2. All right, next measurement, I'll ask you to place your shoulders up there. And this is going to be a side measurement here, just above the iliac crest. Arm comes down. Next one, just angle a bit towards me. This is going to be just beside the belly button. For this next measurement, it's a mid thigh. So to get the midpoint, I'm going to use an anatomical landmark at the hip and another here at the kneecap. Half of that is 22.5. Make a note of that for future. And now measure at that spot. But before I do so, you will have to stand in a particular way. It's going to be um, just having the heel in the air with the toes remaining flat, exactly. So next is for the calf. Uh, for this one, I'd like, like for you to place your foot on the chair, excellent. And finding midpoint at the calf belly. That is it for the measures, thanks Veronica. Uh, the next step is gonna be to put these numbers into an equation. I'm gonna select an equation that's appropriate for the subject. So what have we found out? Well, uh, we've discovered here with the calculations and the measures we've taken, Veronica's body fat percentage is at 19%. It's good, it's an indication of someone who is in an athletic mode, uh, someone that is uh, taking good care and attention uh, for ex doing exercise and doing it regularly eating well and doing it regularly. Now with a body weight of about 120 pounds, 23 of your pounds is out of fat and the rest is, the rest of the body is considered lean mass or non-fat mass. So your picture is bright and it's showing some good uh, healthy, healthy habits that you're uh, following with.